Hello there. In this uh, tutorial we're going to learn how to make a range of uh, thin nuts. The first part of the exercise will be to make one nut and then the second part will be how to make a range of nuts from that one nut and perhaps uh, give them different colours to represent uh, what material, metal or whatever they're made from. For example, uh, copper, steel, brass, etc. So I'll show you how to um, decide what RGB values to put in for those colours. Colours. So stand by, here we go. <coughs> we are, of course, going to need some information to get these nuts the right dimensions. So I've got here a sheet of all the dimensions I need for a series of uh, BA nuts. This ranges from OBA to 16BA, but we're not going to do all of those. And that should give you an idea of how to uh, how to do a, a, a decent range. Of course, you can apply this to all manner of different standards of nuts, with, with uh, pipe diameter threads and such. But we're going to do uh, BA nuts, which are uh, widely used in model engineering. So the first thing we'll do is select hexagon and across the flats, according to the information, is 0.193 inches. 0.193. Now, as we are in millimeters, we need to specify that we want inches, so IN for inches, return, turns out that 0.193 inches is 4.902 millimeters, we'll increase that a bit, then we want the thickness, now there's no thickness on this sheet, so what do we do? We go on the internet and we search around and we get something like this, And this information is in fastener data. It's got a handy little picture for us. And M dimension is what we want. Here, this M dimension. We can also check across the flats to see if it's the same as on my other sheet. So the M dimension for 6BA is... The, we'll take the max dimension, 0 0.105. Across the flats, it's... 0.193 which is exactly the same as what I've got on my sheet so that's good and P for pull 0.105 we type I in for inches because we're in millimeters and return there's our basic piece of material <clears throat> square it up again and we're going to put a hole through it uh, at the diameter over the screw thread which is 0.11 inches right so you want a circle 0.11 inches pull and we're going to pull that into a hole that's it. Now to make it look like a proper nut we need to put chamfers around here. Now one of the easiest ways I have found is is this. So we go to select select a corner then hold the control key select a corner opposite over here and then strike the X key to get a cross section at that point but we want a cross section from the middle of this side to the middle of that side 
So we'll move this plane into the center by selecting down here, move grid, select that, and then up to the center. V to make it vertical, and there we've got a section right through the center. Now this point here is the minimum diameter of the nut across the outside, which is what we need. So we're going to chamfer these two corners. Now we make a, like a little tool to do that, and we'll need the line tool, which is the on the keyboard it's the L key, or you can select over here, line tool. So from this corner we're going to make a 45 little 45 degree triangle. Now we'll have to tab to get to the angle. At the moment it's 57.153 so we type 45 tab. Line's a bit too long at the moment. Right so click click there and complete the triangle so that's that edge so we're going to do the same thing down here tab to the angle 45 tab again click and then the pull tool P for pull we select both of these select that one hold the control key select the other one. Now we're going to rotate them so rotate tool and uh, it's telling us to select an axis to rotate about so we select that. Now we've got a little sub menu up there we're going to be removing metal so we want to select the minus key the minus tool rather and then this full pull tool click that and there we go isn't that beautiful now we've got a nice nut what remains for us to do now is put a thread up the middle okay that's the first part of the exercise uh, stand, by, stand by for part two which will demonstrate how to put the thread up the middle of the nut and make a few more of different sizes. Then I'm going to show you how to colour them so they represent various metals, brass, copper, etc.